Hello everyone, this is Lensbase Architecture. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate a contour map in SketchUp. So let's get started to see the first method. Method 1. Download from cadmapper.com Actually, besides cadmapper.com, there are many other websites to download contour map or base map for your design. For example, you can get free base map from OpenStreetMap.org or Mapbox.com. And also, you can get existing contour map in CAD file or SketchUp file from CAD Mapper and ContourMapGenerator.com. You can learn more detail from this video in my channel. In this tutorial, we will get free contour map from CADMapper.com. I like this website because we can download the contour map and the existing building and street map in SketchUp directly. After click Get Start and Generate a file, it will direct to that page. And we will select the location in San Diego, California, the same location as we used in our last tutorial. Once I choose the area I want to get, I click Create File. Then the website will generate a 3D file in SketchUp. And we can preview the file in 3D view, 2D view, and the topography. I think this is the area I want to get. So I will click Download to get the file. Then how easy, we will got the 3D topography file in SketchUp. Here I turn off the profiles to make the lines look lighter. And in the layer setting, you will see this model has separate layers. Buildings, coastal lines, contours, parks, paths, and topographies. And in this tutorial, we only need the contour lines. So I'm going to turn off the paths, parks, roads, and the buildings layers. Then we've got the contour lines for our site. Then let's see how to add geolocation to our site and how to place our design into Google Earth. I've already had a design for this site, so I'm going to turn on this layer. It's a geometric deck and trail on a cliff. To add geolocation, I click File and Geolocation, Add More Imaginary. Then you will see this map window. I tap in the location in our design, Sunset Cliff National Park. And find out the exact location we got the contour map. And select the area we want to use. After adjusting and choosing the right areas, click Select the Region, and then click Import. You will see the area photo is underneath our contour map, which means the contour map we got from CAD Matter is on the right geolocation. So the last step we are going to do is go to File and export our design into KMZ file. I will export two KMZ file, one with the topography map. I name it Sunside One. And then I will turn off the topography layer and the contour layer. Only leave the design layer on. And then go back to File, Export, 3D file, Export as Sunside 2 in KMZ file again. Then go back to Google Earth and click File, Open. I will import the first KMZ file we just made first. Then we got our design and topography map in Google Earth. But it looks like floating on the Google map. To make it fit into the site, we should turn the terrain on. OK, then it looks much better now. At this time, the terrain from SketchUp is covered with terrain from Google Earth. So I will go back to the file, open another KMZ file we just export from SketchUp. And turn off the first KMZ file. Then we got the design into the existing site. 
we can choose the angle we like and export into JPEG to make a bird's eye view rendering or a perspective rendering. Then let's get started to see the second method, generate contour with SketchUp. Go back to the SketchUp model. Add geolocation like we just did. Select the appropriate area as we did before. And import into SketchUp model. And then I'm going to turn off all of the layers. Only left design layer on. And also the location snap layer and location terrain layer. When you turn on the location terrain layer, you can tell it is the 3D layer. Then I'm going to turn off other layers, include design layer, and draw a rectangular layer underneath. And then I double click the rectangular to select it, and click M and hold out to make a copy of it. And I will space the rectangular to the height I want the contour to be. In this case, I want it to 5 meters. And then I tap X30 to make 30 copies of the rectangular. So at this moment, we have the cut layers in every 5 meters. Select all of the layers, include the terrain layer. And then right click, intersect face, and with selection. Then I will delete all of the face, because we only want the intersect line, which is the contour line left. Then you can see those lines, like contour lines on the terrain image. After cleaning the map, you can see we got the 5 meters topo map for this site. I also don't need the edges on this site, so I'm going to delete them all. Then here we are, we got the contour map in SketchUp. But as you can tell, this contour map is not as accurate as we just downloaded from CADMAP. Let's turn on the topography layer and the contour layer from CAD Matter we download. You can tell the elevations and the slope of the site are different. But if we don't need a very accurate contour map, I think this is the best choice to save the time. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.